And for our final bout of the night, we have Liu Kang, the Shaolin Monk, versus Shang Tsung, the evil ageless sorcerer who can summon a legion of terrifying undead soldier champions from an endless era of conflict and brutality. This should be another close matchup, folks. For those that don't know, Shang Tsung actually has Liu Kang's brother inside him, which Liu Kang is aware of. So punching Shang Tsung is actually kind of like punching his brother. But the only way to save his brother's soul is by punching Shang Tsung, which is actually like punching his brother. A real rock, paper, rock, paper, rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors scenario here, folks. But honestly, I doubt that'll even come up in this fight because Shang Tsung seems like a pretty nice dude, despite having the forehead of an angry sphinx cat. They square off in the dragon circle, and the theme song begins. Mortal Kombat! Do, 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 Which definitely means he's on. Shang Tsung comes out of the gate with a backwards elbow, followed by a backwards elbow, followed by a backwards elbow. Liu Kang counters with a backwards elbow, followed by a backwards elbow. Shang Tsung answers that with a backwards elbow, followed by a backwards elbow. Liu Kang counters that with a backwards elbow, followed by a backwards elbow. And then they both go for a backwards elbow, which cancels out both backwards elbows. This is martial arts strategy at its finest, folks. Blink and you'll fucking die. Shang Tsung follows up with a backwards elbow toss, and Liu Kang is left stunned by the staggering escalation of wit. But this is all a ruse, as Liu Kang swings his elbow forward while clenching a fist to use the propulsion of his elbow to punch Shang Tsung in the face! Shang Tsung is left bleeding his own blood, but he actually hates the taste of blood, because he prefers the taste of asshole. <laughs> as a soul, he prefers the taste of a soul. Shang Tsung erects a giant demon ghost dragon and thrusts it into multiple manholes to summon asshole from every man he's sucked dry in the last 800 years. Several men bust forward as we're again reminded that Mortal Kombat must only be fought one on one or the combatant forfeits his victory unless someone decides our rules don't matter. That's illegal. There's now six combatants on the battlefield in a near symmetrical pattern that probably would have been perfect had a load-bearing beam not been placed on top of one of the manhole covers, trapping a soul under the weight of poor architectural planning for all of eternity. That's a big rock. That's not a rock. A damn shame. But here we go, as Liu Kang squares off simultaneously against several near champions of previous combats in what is definitely going to be a close one, folks. Liu Kang tactically kicks that guy, then kicks that guy, and then kicks that guy. And oh no, a literal samurai attacks the half-naked Liu Kang, but he deflects a sword at this other guy, and a quick elbow, and he's back in action. Oh, but look out. This guy's swinging a bladed club directly at Liu Kang's face. Well, that's okay, because he catches it with his bare hands. Incredible. A kick, a kick, a double kick. The samurai's back, but Liu Kang kicks the blade and then kicks the samurai. Incredible. Every single new combatant has been kicked at least twice, leaving them all dead on the ground. But oh my god, folks. Shang Tsung has a higher ground. Liu Kang is going to have to come up with a cunning plan, and he's going to have to come up with it quick. And what is this, folks? Katana's coaching Liu Kang from his corner and gives him the great advice between rounds. Face yourself. Cryptic as always, you emotionally numb succubus bitch. But Liu Kang interprets this as advice to gingerly run up the stairs. which seems to have left him more out of breath than fighting six people at the same time. But that's okay, cause we're back to a level playing field. Fair play, Katana. Fair play indeed. Shang Tsung is left stunned as the rest of us. But oh my God, what is this? Shang Tsung is transforming into Liu Kang's dead brother. Liu Kang knew that Shang Tsung had his brother deep inside of him and can evoke the souls of people he's ingested and was looking directly at him while he transformed. But Shang Tsung actually had his back turned to Liu Kang. So when Shang Tsung turns around, Liu Kang is shocked to see his dead brother right where Shang Tsung was standing. Two masters of chess, 
Truly moving every piece on the board in every direction they please here, folks. And oh, oh, this is extraordinary. Kasparov is pissing all over the board. Uh, but will he have the pressure to slew Short's King away? Yes, yes, he's done it. Kasparov is the new world, new chess champion. So well done there. Liu Kang answers back. It can't be you, which is completely reasonable. But Shang Tsung responds back by saying, it's probably actually his brother, which leaves Liu Kang dazed and speechless in response, somehow looking like Stifler from Chinese American Pie. And now we all don't know what's up and down, folks. Spikes begin to come out of the floor or the ceiling. No one's sure at this point, especially not Liu Kang, as he tries to sort out this mystery of who's in front of him or possibly behind him. But then Shang Tsung, or Liu's brother, no one knows, says... I forgive you for letting me die. Liu Kang quickly remembers that he doesn't accept blame. No. And tells his brother to kick rocks for dying when he abandoned him. I missed the part where that's my problem. He yells at him. Shang Tsung killed my brother. But in a twist of fate none of us could have predicted. Yo, my. Turns out it was Shang Tsung this whole time. Zhang Zun attacks with a flurry, tossing him around, and then delivering a near-fatal elbow to the spine. Liu Kang's greatest weakness. Zhang Zun calls him the chosen one. The chosen one. And walks away in satisfaction. But oh my god, folks! Liu Kang stands up and says he is the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I am the one, the way you're done. And this absolutely infuriates Zhang Zun. They lock arms in a perfect infinity loop configuration, and this stunning development causes Shang Tsung to unclench his soul. And then our soul is unclenched again. Free them, Liu Kang shouts. Free asshole for everyone. Liu Kang punches them several more times, and then mocks them saying that he may have sucked a soul countless times, but he'll never be able to reach his own. Now we're just playing dirty pool here, folks. That's just unfair combat. And Shang Tsung knows it, but he's getting punched again. Just awful. Liu Kang bathes in the power of the moonlight like a sailor scout. Fighting evil by moonlight. And Shang Tsung gets ready to fly away from the battlefield. But before he can, Liu Kang summons the soul of Adam Sandler from the water boy. And Shang Tsung Naruto runs directly at him. Double fist, double fist, double fist, double fist, double fist. Double fist, double fist, double fist, double fist, followed by, oh my god, folks, a triple fist! <laughs> Nothing is sacred, folks! Shang Tsung is now dazed on his feet. It's almost like Liu Kang should finish him, or something else of a similar phrasing. And then, oh my god, a double swift dragon fist, and Shang Tsung is sent flying down to the spikes below. Jesus Christ. Shang Tsung can make the argument of an early stoppage, but the ref has already made up his mind, and this is all done. Liu Kang exclaims, Flawless victory. Which honestly could be true, but we'll have to go back to the slow-mo replays later to really know if he got hit at all in the last 10 minutes, folks. And that's it. That settles it. All that's left is for Liu Kang to travel to Space Heaven to fight his brother. But for now, this bracket list tournament has been settled. Tune in next time, folks, when our reigning victors take on an 800-foot sledgehammer-wielding emperor in the newest installment of Unfair Combat!